Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys if you have a Volkswagen Tiguan guys and you need to recharge your AC system. Stay with us, we'll cover everything from start to finish and we'll show you how to do that if your AC system is not blowing cold air because you're low on refrigerant or let's say you replace your AC compressor or a hose, anything like that, you will need to recharge it. So in today's video, we'll show you guys how to do that. Quick introduction to the channel, every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys. That way we can keep providing this free information and free videos to you. So, doesn't matter guys, if uh, we'll show the first generation of Volkswagen Tiguan, doesn't matter if it's facelift or not facelift. We will explain how to do that, the procedure is not very complicated. You will need to open the hood of your Volkswagen Tiguan guys and there will be a label that you will need to locate. And this label is right here, this is for your refrigerant. R134A, this is the refrigerant that it uses, you can see, that's what we have here. Uh, if you need to buy some or the device to recharge it, we'll share the links in the description of the video below guys. So check it out and you can find that. So we need 660 grams plus minus 5 grams. This is the oil. This is only if the system been completely vacuumed down, you will need to add oil. Uh, and uh, if uh, it wasn't vacuumed down, probably you will not need add oil unless you have a super fast leak or you replace the AC compressor, guys. So, uh, that being said, uh, every time I recommend, okay, when you recharge your system, have the system vacuum down. What they do, they uh, hook it to that machine for a small fee and they can remove all the old uh, f refrigerant and all the old oil and you can start fresh. Uh, we'll show you guys how to do that, uh, uh, how to actually recharge it today and if you want to see the vacuum down video, we'll, we'll have it on the channel very soon. So, one can guys is 340 grams, right there, 340. We need 660. Two cans will be 680, so a little bit less than two cans. You need to find the low pressure port of your AC system. In our case, this is, okay, let me turn the light on because it's sunshine here. This is the low pressure port. Unscrew the cap, pull it out like that. So, okay, that being said, guys, you need to install the can on the recharging device, connect it there, so you lift up the device, push down and, re and connect it. Make sure you do that to the low pressure port, not the high pressure port. I'll go inside guys and I'll show you, okay, what we need to do now, okay? It's super hot today, by the way. You're going to see that when I start the car, it's melting hot, guys. Cannot believe it's so hot in the beginning of the summer. Okay, you will want to, it's 85 now. Definitely fuse holder in the car. You will need to guys go ahead and turn, okay, your fan on, turn the fan on. Turn the AC on and put it all the way on cold. Okay, all the way on cold and now we're going to go outside and we'll show you guys okay what we need to do and how we need to recharge the system. So let us show you guys okay how to do that now. So you're going to press the button and start adding free on guys. Okay, you can see it's taking it. Now there is something else. Okay, I'm going to discuss that right before we finish and we'll talk about that as we go so we'll add the first scan you hear your fan will turn on that's a good good indicator if the fan is on that means that okay uh, the AC pressure switch started reading actually already some content so that's good another thing guys if your radiator fan doesn't work your AC will not work as well so we'll keep adding the free on it will take a little bit of time okay and once it's done we'll continue guys so the first can is empty, took us about five minutes, didn't want to waste your time. I'll turn the car off, turn the car off guys, because you don't want to uh, have moving parts around your fingers when you disconnect the can. So we'll go ahead, okay disconnected now, we're going to change the can, you may leak a little bit out, not much. That's just mostly air guys, just, uh, just uh, empty pressure. We didn't have any liquid coming out. Always wear eye protection gloves, things like that. We're going to reconnect the second can. I'll start the car, turn the AC on, and we'll start adding. Now, right here, guys, on some gauges, you can see you can adjust the outside temperature. We're at 85, so at 85, we need to be around 40, okay, to 50, almost PSI pressure. Even though this is not a really, really accurate indicator, it's still uh, 
you will have higher pressure with a higher temperature guys so i'll go ahead turn it on and we'll start adding the second one now okay that's what we are doing now you hear the fan will turn on and we'll keep adding the second one make sure you stand till the end and you're going to see guys okay you're going to see in a little bit what else we're going to do so let's pull it a little bit so i can show in the sunshine because Okay, we are right on the spot, you guys. You can see we are at 45, so we should be ready, ready to go. This can is almost empty, guys. We'll go ahead, empty it, and we will continue. We will leave a little bit because we need a little bit less than two cans. We will go ahead. Okay, I will recommend to always turn the car off, guys. Okay, to disconnect it. So that's what I will be doing. I'll turn the car off. We'll disconnect the holes. Okay, let me do that. One person will disconnect the hose, then I'll start the AC and we'll see, okay, how cold it's going to get. So, let's do that, install our protective cap and I'll go inside and we'll see how hot it, how it's going to get. And right now guys, outside, okay, Celsius on the, on the body. Okay, I'm trying to focus here, it's so bright. 62 degrees Celsius, guys. That's 144 <laughs> Fahrenheit. I'm telling you, in the sun, it's extremely hot. Extremely hot. In the shade, it's probably less. So I'll go ahead, turn it on. Okay, and I want to show you now. Okay, the dash itself. It's at 177 degrees Fahrenheit. Celsius, that's 80, 80 degrees, guys. So we'll turn the fan on high. All the way on high, what we are going to do, we are going to measure actually guys how much air we are going to get out of here now. So let's calculate now and see if it's going to start dropping. That is in Celsius. So 17, 16, check it out guys, 15 degrees, 13, 12, it still keep dropping, 11, 10 degrees. So definitely guys, cold, cold, really cold air that affects that as well so six you can see five degrees definitely guys really really cold air so it's going to drop in the negative number that's how cold it's getting inside and if you check uh, here in uh, fahrenheit that's 30 25 now that's negative three guys celsius so definitely that took care of our problem uh, if you guys have problems with the ac still not working we have a video that explains the top five reasons coming very soon why your ac system doesn't work and we have one uh, common one that explains for every car on our channel so check it out thank you for watching and see you guys next time